Hey guys, hope everyone's having a good holiday season. I know it's getting close to Christmas. Hope everyone's having some good time off work. I know with my job it doesn't really work that way, so I'll actually be working day shift on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. So, um, anyways, just wanted to take a minute and show you guys some of the stuff I've made recently. Uh, these are available on my website. You just go to jboytesknives.com and you can uh, search around there. It's pretty. Uh, I changed the website a month or two ago and I added a lot more pictures and galleries and and ways to get in contact with me and stuff like that so you can take a look at everything I have available there these are two uh, Timascus bandicoots these are all handmade where like I get the bar of Timascus and I cut it out and shape them and do everything by hand there's no water jet or anything um, this is the raindrop pattern which is my personal favorite Timascus pattern just because you can see where you grind down the bevels you get that nice sort of layered effect and then up on the flats you get to keep that raindrop pattern so I have two of these available they're both up on my uh, on my website it's kind of hard with this lighting and the uh, camera to really show you the the colors backs I tried to leave mostly the uh, bronzy orange and on the front this one you can see is mostly the blues and purples and this one I got the uh, the blues on the uh, the pry bar in there and then left the backside mostly uh, orangey bronze and again on the back you can see really really gorgeous stuff you can see it's not the uh, it's not crazy thick, but definitely a substantial chunk of Timascus. So those two are available on my website. And uh, next, I want to show you. Uh, I put this picture on Instagram, but for those of you who haven't seen it, this is the design for my uh, Generation Two of my Bandicoot. <clears throat> that that this is the one that I do get water jet cut, and then I add the holes and I grind the uh, the pry bar on there by hand, and then I kind of tweak it a little bit. But this was the uh, the first design, and you can see. It's a nice little tool, but pretty basic in its design. It has a bottle opener here and then a pry bar, which is narrow enough at the end to be used as a flathead screwdriver in most uh, applications. This is just a satin finished one. And so when I did the redesign, I wanted to add a bit more functionality. So you can see this is a actual, the actual size when, the, uh, when I had the, the guy who designed it, he sent me this. So this is actually in real life on the paper when you print it out, it adjusts to the actual size. So I've increased the length a little bit. I've added uh, some jimping on the top and the bottom just so when you're using the bottle opener and you're holding it like this, you gotta imagine it's hinged on a bottle cap, it actually gives you something to uh, grip onto there. This is a 9, I forget what size these are exactly. Uh, I can uh, annotate that down below because uh, I, I wanted to make the the size of it basically just match the size of the hole that was already there. So I didn't use just a, a quarter inch, it would have been way too small. So I wanted to kind of keep the same overall look. I believe this is a, one of them is a 9 16 And then I added this second one as well. This was smaller initially. You can see this is the fourth revision of this because I wanted to kind of make it ideal. So when I get it back from water jet, I don't have to really tweak it as much, which will keep the cost down for you guys as well. So you can see when I get it, I'll just have to grind on the uh, the pry bar tip and the switches and punch these two holes in if I want to, and then uh, then off we go. So anyway, I just want to show you guys that. These are actually on the way to me now. I got about 50 of them cut out. They'll be the same thickness as these ones. I think it's 0.16 or 0.165, 6AO4V titanium, and uh, hopefully I'll have those rolling out in the beginning of the new year. And uh, there might be a little bit of a brief uh, hiatus at one point or at some point next year. And, in the uh, towards spring because my girlfriend and I actually bought a house which means that the shop that I've been working in is basically all my dad stuff so I'm gonna have to go out and buy all my own grinders drill press air compressor I already have tumbler coming and sandblast cabinet and that's the other cool thing up to this point I haven't had the uh, haven't had the ability to sandblast or stone wash or anything and that'll be coming with uh, with the new shop as well so I'll have some cool options available for these but uh, I just want to show you guys that show you guys these which are available on the uh, on the website now you just gotta go to the titanium tool section if it'll focus it'll give you a nice shot on the way out there you go so uh, really gorgeous stuff hope everyone's having a good holiday and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys